Hey everybody, I'm Rachel, and I'm gonna show you how to make some super easy, pantry-friendly vegan recipes today using five ingredients or less. Let's go get cooking. So for breakfast, we're going to make some vegan fluffy pancakes that don't need any eggs. So you're gonna add some all-purpose flour to a bowl. An alternative is to grind up some oats in a food processor or blender, and that will be your flour, which is also a gluten-free option. Then we're gonna add some baking powder, organic sugar, I used coconut sugar because that's all I had, some flax meal. This isn't necessary for the recipe, but I just like to get in some extra omega-3s in my breakfast. Then we're going to add in some non-dairy milk of choice and a little bit of vanilla. And then we're going to mix it up and it's okay to keep some lumps in there. We don't want to over mix this. Then you're going to spray a pan and add in about a half a cup of the batter, depending on how big you want your pancakes to be. I also like to add in some frozen blueberries to get some extra antioxidants in my breakfast. And then once it starts to bubble a little bit, we give it a flip and it should be nice and golden brown on the other side. And then you can stack them up while they're still piping hot. And I like to add some vegan butter on the top. I love Miyoko's vegan butter and a drizzle of maple syrup, of course. And these make the most indulgent breakfast and they're super quick and easy to make. And if you put in the blueberries and the flax meal, they're actually pretty healthy for you. So now for lunch, we're going to make a fried tofu sandwich, which is one of my favorites. You're gonna add some high heat oil to the pan, like a grapeseed oil, which is more suitable for frying. And then you can just add in your sliced tofu. I don't even press the tofu for this. I just like to pat it dry with a dish towel beforehand. Then I add on some low sodium soy sauce, some garlic powder and nutritional yeast, which is gonna give it a really great savory flavor and some black pepper. So a trick to making this tofu taste really good is to just let it cook for a long time. You want it to get really crispy and develop that delicious crust. And then you just wanna hit the other side with some more soy sauce, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, and black pepper. And really just let it cook for even longer than you would think to get it really crispy and delicious. And so now I've toasted some bread and I'm gonna add on some vegan mayo, which I just love adding to sandwiches. We're gonna add on our tofu, some sliced tomatoes and spinach, but you can use whatever toppings you have at home. And that's it. I love making this for lunch. You can customize it however you want, add some pesto, and it's super, super satisfying. So now we're going to make a super tasty snack that only uses a handful of ingredients. So we have a can of chickpeas that we drained and rinsed. We're gonna add some chili powder and some fresh squeezed lime juice and a little bit of salt and some olive oil. And then we're just gonna mix that up and add it to a baking sheet. I like to use these reusable silicone liners. And these chickpeas blew me away. They are so flavorful. The lime juice is popping off. Definitely give them a try. So for dinner, we're going to make a super creamy pasta that is totally dairy-free and pantry-friendly. So you're gonna boil some water in your pasta of choice. And I just add my broccoli right in with the pasta for the last five minutes of boiling it. And you can use frozen broccoli here. That's another great option for this recipe. And then when the pasta is al dente and the broccoli is tender, we can go ahead and drain it. And then for our cheese sauce, we're just gonna add in some nutritional yeast, which can be a great source of B12 if you're vegan, some non-dairy milk, and then you're just gonna stir it up over a low heat to help the sauce thicken up a little bit. And that's it. This pasta is so creamy and delicious. It's kind of like a mac and cheese. And I'm telling you, this is going to become one of your go-tos. And then for dessert, we're gonna have four ingredient peanut butter chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. So you're gonna start by mashing two really ripe bananas. I had some bananas in my freezer, which I just thawed out and those work great for this. Then I'm gonna add in some oats some vegan chocolate chips, and some peanut butter, which is gonna add some healthy fats and some protein. And then you're just gonna stir that all up. And these are perfect for when you really want something sweet, but you don't have any flour in the house. And these are perfectly sweetened because they have the natural sugars from the banana, and you have a little bit of sugar in the chocolate chip, and you really don't even need anything else than that. 
I could not get over how delicious these cookies were for only having four ingredients and they're healthy enough that you could eat them for breakfast. Thanks for watching and I hope these recipes make cooking during quarantine a little bit easier for you. All of the exact amounts can be found in the description box below. And let me know if there's anything else you wanna see me cook from home.